and good evening. Um, today, I did not film at Malibu. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I did go out to, out to Malibu to go see Rick, though. Um, I went and delivered a little practice kit for him. So, uh, really basic setup, just a couple pads, a couple kick pedals. Uh, and he, he just wants something he could take with him when he's out traveling so he can kind of warm up and just, you know, kind of keep the flow going. So, uh, that was kind of my day uh, as it's a pretty decent drive from my house to Malibu and I had to stop by the old warehouse to get you know build a kit um, and hunt around to find a, you know a bunch of SR pieces I've had had it dug out for a couple years all kinds of fun uh, by the time I made it to Malibu it was probably you know I think two 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 thirty ish and by the time I rolled out there it was about three thirty ish um, so, uh, for those of you who don't live in LA, uh, rush hour starts at three o'clock here and it's shit. So I didn't really want to spend any more time screwing around, uh, taking photos on the beach or shoot video on the beach. Um, because I would have added probably, you know, a 10 minute stop could have added an extra hour meeting home and I kind of want to get home. Um, that being said, it was a gorgeous day. A lot of people out in the water, you know, uh, but I was kind of that mode of get me home. Uh, mainly also because I when I went to the warehouse, it was super hot, and I walked in there, which was hoping for a five-minute thing, and it took me about an hour to find a couple, the key pieces of gear, and I was just completely drenched in sweat and feeling disgusting. Uh, so I just wanted to get home and you know not be sweaty and disgusting anymore. Um, sorry that little little, uh, little gimbal adjustment there. Um, with all that though, uh, picked up some gear which I needed to get to uh, pimp out the rigs uh, or the rig that's going to Mexico and a few other little surprise products I'm working on. Um, and just had a good chance, a uh, good time to hang out with Rick. Uh, I haven't seen him since the tour got over, so uh, as he's been. I swear to God, this gimbal just kind of slowly does this as I'm talking. Um, yeah, he went out to the East Coast to visit some family when we got back on tour, and I, you know, well, you guys know what I've been doing, so um, it's nice just kind of catch up and hang out and stuff. Uh, I really do enjoy working with that guy, awesome human being. Um, somebody asked me if, uh, regarding photo shoots, whether I shoot, uh, shoot with Rick, and I actually do quite a bit. Um, there's uh, some of my photos on their website uh, here and there. Uh, for those of you who find, follow my Instagram page, you'll probably know some, some concert photos, of, you know, end of the show photos that have been taken a lot, like the last run. Uh, and also, their press shot from two years ago is mine, and has some photos in, their, in the last record. So I do actually do a little bit of shooting the band. Uh, probably a lot less than I did working for my previous employer, um, uh, because I was a little more uh, free, had a little more free reign to run around on stage uh, during that uh that band set uh, with Rick, I'm I'm really stuck at his uh, at the rack, so I can't really go out and shoot. So which I don't really do a lot of concert photography, but I do um, do some stuff with him. I also do uh, work on his art projects a lot, um, doing like archival photos of him. Uh, as both my cameras are pretty high megapixel, so I can get some really detailed uh, high res shots of his artwork, uh, which I think actually uses quite a bit of this for printing purposes. So. Um, you know, maybe not as cool as some of my fashion photography, but still, I think it's fun. Uh, camera with all I talked about yesterday because I was so loopy by the end of the evening. Um, still feel a little tired today, actually. I, I, I don't know what, I just, maybe the lack of sleep yesterday and just the, um, didn't really have lunch today. Just kind of threw my schedule off just with dealing with traffic and stuff. So I'm just feeling a little, little, uh, little squirrely. Um, and I swear to God, this thing is drifting. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but as, as, as I'm talking, does it kind of slowly start, start tilting down, like you know, more beard, less head thing? Um, maybe, maybe or I could be slouching too. Uh, anyways, um, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, back to working on some rig stuff and uh, try to get our, our uh, warehouse cleaned up and sorted. Uh, it's a little chaotic from the, the shipping uh, last week of our Gear South America. Um, and we have a few other things that got dropped off this week that I need to figure out where they're going to put the damn things because I still need room to work. <laughs> uh, as, you know, uh, on, uh, on the B-Rig and all that fun jazz. Um, so that's going to be my, probably actually my next week is work on that stuff. Um, hopefully I'll be able to reschedule that photo shoot that was canceled yesterday. Uh, guessing it's probably a week or so, um, at least in that one. 
but uh, I do have all the shots I, that I took uh, with Catherine yesterday. That you saw that little photo at the very end of the last video. Um, I actually haven't done my computer yet. I, <laughs> I completely forgot last night that I left my camera and all my gear in my car, which I didn't realize until I pulled up to Guitar Center this afternoon to pick up something from a wreck. As I'm walking in and seeing all the signs saying, make sure there's nothing in your car, we're not responsible for theft, I realized I had, you know, the, well, I won't throw a dollar figure, but say, a lot of money in, in camera gear in my back seat, so I had to go in and uh, pull it on the block, you know, where I could hop out and not, you know, not show the, uh, the crowd that I was uh, shuffling things on the back of my car and trying to hide stuff. Um, thankfully, nothing was stolen. But uh, I'll probably dump those photos in from yesterday and uh, take a look. Um, I think it'd be pretty good though. I was really happy we were shooting with him yesterday. I, I didn't use my uh, my flash as much as I was I intended to. Um, I was really trying to embrace the idea of using speed lights and, and um, didn't end up using that very often. I think I the bat I just didn't the uh, I brought a set of batteries with me that I thought were full. Like I had them in the box and I realized they weren't. I don't know why I didn't throw those things away last time, but uh, so I, I kind of have batteries that are a little slow in the upcharge. Um, but I did a lot of fair amount of shooting with my uh, my lens baby, actually. Um, I keep pulling that thing out for shoots, and I, I do a shot with them like, ugh. You know, it, it seemed like a cooler and content than actual in practice. Uh, but I used that quite a bit yesterday. Uh, I essentially brought like, all my primes with me. So I left my, uh, my actually my only zoom, or my only Sony zoom, which is my 2470. But I had a 14 mil? It's, yeah, it's the, the 14 mil, uh, the new uh, Rokinon lens, uh, 55, or no, Rokin, uh, 14 mil, I left my 22 at home, so I 14 mil, I have a 55, a 60, and an 85, so I, I had four lenses I was constantly rotating out, um, so we, we do a different look, and I'd swap lenses again, uh, it's pretty inspiring, actually, I, I haven't really, uh, um, she, Catherine's a good friend of mine, and one of the nice things about working with her is, is that we're really good about just kind of taking the idea of like let's just see what happens and go with it um i, I love having those like artistic collaborators who are, who are cool with just kind of throwing caution to the wind and you know seeing where inspiration leads as opposed to going in with a real big concept um because really, yeah, we really didn't have one it's kind of like we've shot so many times together before uh that you know there's a danger of kind of retreading things um but the nice thing is we're we're you know, we're good at communicating and stuff, and, and we're both really good at seeing that that quick moment to go, ah, I got an idea, and, and running with it. Uh, and because I worked with her, she worked with me. We both kind of know where we can where we can push and pull to make cool images. You know, I think with uh, with like any artistic collaboration, it's always like a second or third time where somebody's when things get really kind of fun, interesting. Because at that point, you 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 know somebody, you really know what you can get out of what you know. Uh, if you you know, it's like a uh, it's like playing sports, you know, if you're playing, um, well, tennis is a little more adversarial, but, uh, yeah, if you're playing basketball and I, yeah, if you're, if you're with some, you know, if you're playing somebody with once, they don't know your rhythm, but after a couple of times you're playing a game with them, like, you know, you know that like, Hey, if I do this, if I pass here, you're going to get the ball. Um, and so we're shooting with somebody with a model, like, you know, ideally you kind of have the relationship after a couple of shoots. Like you really know that, you know, uh, like the body language comes across, um, generally, if I if I'm telling somebody I need to change a pose, they'll do it before I you know before I change open mouth like or you know uh, they can see what, when you know when my body language changes. Go oh hold this he's you know this shot's good. Um, so we got a bunch of cool stuff. At least I think at the time I'll I'll know in about another twenty minutes when I put my computer. Um, anyways, get a little rambly here. Uh, but tomorrow I will be uh, working the old warehouse, cleaning stuff up, moving stuff around, shuffling gear. Plugging thing in, things in, turning things back on that haven't been on for a while. Uh, mainly the B-Rig, because I haven't turned anything on in probably a year. <laughs> so, I mean, it's the last time I updated the software, which was probably about a year ago. So, i uh, got to get that thing going and, and make sure it's all ho happy and copacetic so we can go, you know, play some shows with it. Um, and then, uh, we'll see how the weekend leads for more fun and shenanigans. Uh, no particular updates on my possible impending move yet. Um, I uh, talked to my hopeful roommate again yesterday, and things are still up in the air a little bit. Um, mainly, she's trying to engineer getting out of her current lease to get another apartment, which is the one we share because she's currently the one better. So, um, but I really hope that happens because I'm more and more getting dead set in the idea of moving. I'm I'm getting a I'm getting antsy. Um, 
and just uh, ready for a change. So, uh, anyways, whatever. Uh, I'm going to uh, call it good for the night. I shall uh, catch y'all tomorrow. Um, if you have any more questions, please fire my way. I, I try to keep up on things. Um, if I don't answer them here, I'll try to answer them on uh, on on the uh, YouTube uh, community comment section. You know, blah blah. But um, you know, I love answering questions. Love talking about you know photography or Def Leppard or gear or whatnot. Um, Def Leppard for what I can say or what I know. Um, but anything else, I'm you know I'm I'm always game for chatting. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, give me a give me a shout, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.